Hello everyone, welcome back to Ranch of Rivershine. Now, in this last week, I did actually go back in and play a little bit. I did a little bit of breeding. So I've got some foals. Ooh, Rocky Mountains. Yes, I want to take a look. I don't know if I have any space though. Um, I did do a little bit of breeding um, I, with that Pintaloosa Stallion that I got. Um, so I kind of threw everybody out in the pasture, which I know I said I had an aversion to because of the potential, but yeah. Um, so I, uh, I did that. So everybody's out here, as you can see. Um, and I wanted to show you some of the babies. So the, okay, she's not, is she pregnant? Did I? No, she's not pregnant. Sometimes I can't tell. This, I think, is one of my babies. Yep, she's an Onyx Black Tavero. Super cute, but I'm not going to assign her to a stall. Aww. I think this is my new Pintaloosa. Nope, she's a Black Tavino. So that's soft coffee. Super cute. So these are a new uh, Overo and or Tobiano and wait, what is she again? Tobiano, black Tobiano. Okay. I think I know I had two. There's a there's a little one over here who's separated from her mom. Sorry, little one. Come on, come on, you can do it. There you go. Good job. Okay, so you want me to look at you? So she is a silver dap. Silver Dapple Black Toby, Pearl Black Tobiano. For a moment, I thought she was a Pintaloosa, but she is not. But she is super cute, or he is super cute. Give him a little brush. And his mom is Beauty, so I was really happy to see that. A little click clops, click clops. I know, and the little pink nose, he's super cute. So I'm looking, because I had one of the babies grow up, so I'm not sure who's who. I think this one needs to be brushed. So this is Sweet Sprout. This is my Pintaloosa, my, one of my original Pintaloosas with the blue eyes, and she does need to be brushed, because I did skip a bunch of days. I think I did it like twice, so six days twice, so 12 days. <laughs> That's why I threw everybody outside and I was like, you know what? I'd screw it. I, if I lose the potential, I can always gain it back. It's fine. I don't know why I'm so picky. This is my ash black Pintaloosa. So I will assign her to a stall. Look how cute she is. Oh my goodness. She is really, I think she has gold eyes. Look how cute she is. So Yep, this is my first dark Pentalusa, and that and her dad is Antique Desert. Her mom is Smoky, which is my totally gray with a white blanket Appaloosa. So yeah, I'm really happy about this. And she's looking really sweet. And I think she's a keeper. And this is this is Night Sky, who had another baby, but not this not a Pentalusa. I think she had, I think, she, whoa, just walk right through that. Um, did I have, I know I had a bunch of, bunch of kids. Okay, nobody there. Let me open this gate up. Okay, so the other ones I'm going to go ahead and sell. Okay, so this is soft coffee. This one, I think, okay, I'm not going to assign anybody else to a stall. They can just... So this is also another baby, Golden Cremello Tobiano, soft, silly feather. Actually, I might need to assign them to a stall so that I don't, mm. I might need to, I don't think I have enough stalls because I'm going to sell her. I might have to do this. Um, hello, night sky. All right, so our goal today is more breeding, of course. I want more Pentaloosas. I want to see if I can get a Dapple Pentaloosa. That would be awesome. Um, let me see if I can assign this other baby. Because we're selling you. I can't assign her. So soft coffee. You're going to have to help me remember that. Soft coffee. 
I do not want to sell. So I'm going to rename my, my Pentaloosa Don't Sell. Oh no. Okay, no. Aw, look how cute this is. Aw. So I'm going to name her Don't Sell so I don't sell her. Because <laughs> I don't want to sell her. Him. Don't want to sell him. Sorry. Him. Terrible at names. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let me grab one of the other adults. Come here, sweetheart. We're going to ride you out. This is my black Tavero. We're going to go to the town. We're going to go to the horse statue. <clears throat> so I hope everybody's had a lovely day, uh, week, and ready to start the weekend. Or, well, it's the weekend while I'm recording this, but so when you see this, it's going to be Monday. So I hope you have a lovely weekend. Just the right amount of fun. Not... Oh, sweet sprout. That's a mare. Silly, silly bunny is a colt. All right, so there's, so there's sell. Okay, so I'm gonna sell this one. She is lovely, but I don't need another. And she is huge, sixteen hands. So that is really cool. Cool, 19.5, that's really good. Okay, so then we're gonna go back. So hot chocolate, silly bunny, an adult cult. Okay, silly bunny I wanna sell, I hope. I hope this is one of the ones I want to sell. If not, I'm gonna be screwed. Onyx black Tovero. Okay, so this was another Tovero, but I am selling him. He's quite lovely with that eye patch. He's really, really, really quite nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. So 18.5. Not bad. Okay. So soft coffee is an adult filly. I think she's a black Tobiano. Tobiano. Okay. So yeah, we're selling her. This will free up some more space and then we can do some more breeding. 21. Nice. Good girl. I think that was all of the babies. Sweet Brown is an adult. Don't sell. Antique Desert, Night Sky, Golden Star, Smoky, Pearl. Okay, so we're good. Okay, cool beans. All right, let's see where we are on. So Rivershine Town and Pine Forest were at 100% because I did some races. So I can take one of the other horses that doesn't have enough potential. What is this color? Oh, that's a dapple, like a dapple bay paint. I wish I could just pet them and see what color they are. Give me something to like lean towards in breeding. That would be really cool. Kate Ranch, Stable, Home. Okay, how much potential does she have? So she is at 41%. Strong, elegant, and she finds money. Okay. So I'm going to put them back. Good girl. Okay. So, <laughs> so I think everybody, so who is this? This is Coco. Okay. So Coco needs a brush. Yeah. Coco needs a good brush. So I think everybody is healthy because they've been out in the pasture. Um, she has do the running braid, and then put the white in. It looks it looks so cool. So this is the newest baby, and I don't think we have anybody else that's pregnant. But this one is super cute. So all our others, let's brush you. So this is my second 100% horse, and I may end up putting my 200% horses in the um, retirement pasture just for giggles. I want to breed her, and actually, let me see who. I gotta pull her out of the stall. I gotta pull everybody out of the stalls again. 
Y'all were right. Just put them in the pasture. I can always gain the potential back by, um, yeah, her dad's antique desert and her mom. So this one's mom was smoky. Okay, so I want to breed the Pintalusa too. Um, oh, nope, come back here. There you go. Back in the pasture. So I don't want to leave anybody in the stalls. You're still, <laughs> you're still here looking for scratches. I can't jump. That's so cute. Do I still have a young? Okay, so that's you. That's you. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So I'm going to breed. Um, Antique Desert. I'm not going to breed him to Smokey. I'm going to breed him to our other Pintalusa. Not Golden. She is lovely though. Could breed him to Night Sky and see what we get. No, not Coco. I wish you could just like sort, like there was a drop down menu. Didn't I put. No. There we go. 72% chance of breeding. So she's a flax and light. He's a coal black. She is a chestnut cream. But I really want a dark. So maybe I should. I know. Color me indecisive. Maybe I should breed her to Night Sky. Whoop, nope. Night Sky again. He's a pearl black. Appaloosa. 67% chance. Okay. So they're about the same. So you guys go ahead and breed. I'm going to give everybody kind of a brush. Just to make sure that they're good. And nope, we don't have any left, so it's fine. Give Smokey and everybody a quick brush. And then next we're going to breed Smokey. Hey, settle down there. So then next we'll breed Smokey and see if we can get another Pintalusa um, of any variant. Okay. I think you're elegant. You don't need it. So hot chocolate. What are you doing over here, bud? Come here. Oh, he's stuck. He's glitched. Okay, can I send him to the stable? Yes. My horse can't follow me there, you think? So that's why he was standing there, because he was glitched. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're elegant, too. So I can send you to the pasture. Hopefully he's not in the same spot. Yes, good. Um, just want to check it and make sure everybody's had a brush. I think they have. Okay, so we'll sleep. Uh-oh. Oh, there's... <laughs> I do need to put some, some babies. Let me collect my pears and, and apples because it's summer. We, we are out of winter, as you might have noticed. So I can collect both pears and apples and have a bunch. And then sell part of them for profit and then use the rest of them for treats and training because they restore almost 75%. So that's a, <clears throat> excuse me, that's a great thing. Run, Forrest, run. Okay. And we ran out of stamina. So I want to see, I know I could do some training. I'm just focused on the breeding right now. Carpenter's in town, so we're going to sleep again. Oh, I forgot the Rocky Mountain Horses. Biscuit. Oh, well. was meant to be. Night Sky's pregnant. Crystal Lake. I am really interested in the horses in Crystal Lake, though. Not that they're not pretty. Not that we couldn't use some more money. Not that we don't have a lot of money, but... I find it really interesting that she made these 
circular stone patterns and then that's where everything spawns. So anytime you see forageables, there's you can look and there's a circular pattern. Yep, there is a circular pattern. Okay, so everybody... So she's pregnant. Yes, remove the horses. And then I want to breed again. But I think I'll breed hot chocolate. To Sweet Sprout. Ooh, they both have blue eyes. Pretty. So we are going to get a cream-based horse because they're both chestnut cream-based. Well, chestnut-based, cream modifier-based. So we will do that. And then next we will breed Smoky. How many days do you have a little bit? Here. Here. You have four days. Okay. We'll keep him. Uh, no, we'll sell him. The other one, the Dark Penelusa, we will keep. This guy. And then we're not going to, we're going to name him. What should we name him? Um... I'll name him Spot for now, but if you have a better name, let me know in the comments below. Spot Keep. That way we don't sell them. Maybe you heard it, maybe you didn't. I'll check back in when I am doing my um when I'm doing my editing. Uh what are you two doing? What is going on here? Are you two pushing each other? Are you stuck? Night sky, behave. Thank you. Pushing, pushing Smokey around like that. My goodness. All right, so I'm going to take Coco. Nice guy. You're getting bossy when you're pregnant, honey. We will go look at the wild horses. I may get one and sell one. Uh, trail entrance. And where are they? That's where we are. Ah, they're over, over by the jump ring. So we can go to the jump ring, teleport. And then we're closer. <laughs> there they are in the distance. Okay, it looks like we have an onyx black. Looks like we have two black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god, we have like eight horses in this herd. Holy Christmas. Looks like we have three blacks. Looks like two ash, one onyx, maybe two onyx. Couple of roams. I'm wondering if this is a flaxen or a silver. Looks so like we have a chestnut. Let's go for this possibly flaxen, possibly silver one. Excuse me, coming through. Yep, nope, not gallop, not gallop. Don't gallop. Waste all our energy. And since it's so early, by the time we round up all of these and look at everybody's stats, hopefully we'll be able to take the one to auction and get some money for it. Okay, I'm going to make you go around this fence. Good job. Okay. They are all over here. And I still haven't found the last box on any of the, for the uh, dies. So there's three tack chests now and three um, may, or die recipes for colors. Um, you can still buy the, uh, yay, $1,000. You can still buy the uh, die straight from Orion. You don't have to, you don't have to, so we will see. 
But yeah, you don't have to hunt for the the loot boxes if you don't want to, because some of sometimes it's really hard, and they're like, even Eloisa said, you know, I forgot where I put it. <laughs> I forgot I placed it there. It's like, oh yeah. <laughs> No, no, go in there. There you go. So I have only found in most of those, I think all of those zones, I have five out of six boxes now. I will make an effort to get that last box because I like achievements. Um, but they're in the Ranch of Rivershine Discord, actually in the Ranch of Rivershine Steam page. Under guides, when you look and it says store page, um, all that stuff right underneath it, right next to play. On the far right, it'll say guides. And if you look there, they'll have there are some people from the Discord and Rancho Rivershine who have made guides on where all the boxes are, what are all the colors that you can get from breeding, where all the tack is, all sorts of all sorts of guides. Um, so I highly recommend that you look there because that's where I go for all of my information not to mention the discord itself oh that's a pretty that's actually a really pretty round really pretty color i'm not sure if it's just because it's got the long mane and tail that it's speaking my interest or what but we'll take a look at at them too we might we might keep one i don't know like i need another horse to to breed i might take my toveros and and uh overos and put them in the the retirement pasture just for for now uh, and you do when you put a horse in a retirement pasture you will lose a their potential and b their tameness so hot tip um, so when you pull them back out you will have no potential and you will also have to retame them so it is not a bug that when you put a horse in the retirement pasture even it's for even if it's for a day or so that you're going to have to retame them and uh, yeah, so I might try and just wipe out as much potential as I can and or train, you know, training them up and see what, what we can do. Come on, fellas. You were already headed that way. Let's finish it off and see what we can do and just do it that way. And also remember, too, at the end of my last video, I did put the... Um, progress that Eloise had posted on the clothing update, which will come out probably around Christmas time ish, depending on how, what her schedule is. So she was going to do the Azure coast and Rabicano, uh, colors this next update, but she decided that she was going to switch it around and move the, um, the clothing for our characters, the clothing boutique for our characters up. Um, because we were all, you know, in the middle of winter running around in shorts and a t-shirt, basically. You guys stuck? You just sitting here chilling out? What? Deciding if they're going to go find their mates. Come on, kids. Let's go. I think this is an ash black. That could be a different, different color. And that chestnut is just like, I'm going. Nope, I changed my mind. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> now I'm going to go off in another direction. You'll never find me. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff happening. Um, I don't think the 1.0 or final release is going to happen until late next year. Like maybe this time next year. Um, because according to the roadmap, we've got... So we've got the clothing, we've got the clothing uh, update coming next, and that should be about three to four months. So September, so let's just say September, October, November, December-ish. Um, then it's going to be the Rabicano and Azure Coast. And then I have to look at the roadmap again. I want to know, I want to say that we're getting the option for pets. We're getting the option, not option, but we're getting the ability to have pets. We're getting the ability to um, have seasonal events, um, stuff like that. So I'm not sure what that's all going to entail. If it's going to be like you get new items, uh, you have celebrations, everybody gives gifts or something like that. I'm not sure what that is, if that's going to be how it is. 
but it will be, she did say seasonal events. And then I believe she said you'll be able to customize your house. So those are like the final last one. So I'm thinking either late 2025, early 2026 would be the final full release of this game. How did you get all the way back there? My goodness. So we've got a ways to go. So we've got a lot of content coming up and um, Eloise does listen to her her um, audience. So she's put in things that we never thought of that we were begging for. So she may yet do a bunch of those as well. Like Pintaloosas were never planned. So that could be a thing. Taveros I don't think were ever planned either. But, you know, hey, we got them now. So we just don't know what other goodies she's going to uh, embark on or give us. Um, as little surprises for this uh, lovely little game. So we have to wait and see with bated breath. You know, the minute that the the update drops, everybody's like, okay, next one, let's go, let's go. The Discord is totally hyped. Every time she put updates progress, we're all just thrilled. All just like, yeah, buddy, let's go. All right, one lonely chestnut. We'll bring him in with the rest of the herd. Come on, sweetie. And again, there are no breeds um, to be added. This is specifically based off, um, excuse me, Eloise specifically based the game off Mustang. Um, so that will be the only breed, but we might be able to have things like instead of polo wraps, have a thing for feathering. That would be really cool. People have suggested that using using the the polo wraps and then you could give horses like feathering on their on their legs to make it look like they were a draft cross or something like that so that would be really interesting so we're going to go with our first pick over here this one and see what you are okay with the badger phase silver bay okay begin oh wow terrible stats honey for a beautiful Beautiful boy, you got suck, sucky staffs. I'm sorry. Tall cyclone. Pearl black, okay. Intermediate. Two, three expert. Okay, so that's not bad. 14-2 mayor. What are you? A black roan, okay. One expert, one intermediate, and two beginner. Oi, oi, oi. Come here, sweetheart. Oops, hang on. I'm stuck. Risk Cloud, and I think she was also looking at adding more names, more randomized names. One advanced, all the others beginner. Wow, that sucks. Oh my goodness. My sweetheart. Pearl Black. One advanced, two intermediate, one beginner. Okay, yeah. Um, nope, didn't want to touch your booty. Stallion. Okay, you... Fiery Flame. That's cute. It would be cuter if you were a redhead. Black Roan. Ooh, too advanced, too intermediate. Okay, did I touch everybody? I did not touch you. No, I did touch you. Okay, so you were the three expert one. I think you're the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Did not touch you, sweetie. You might, might surprise us yet. Quick Mountain. Never heard that mountains were quick. Yes, we know you're a chestnut. Three white socks. Two expert, one intermediate, and 15 two mare. She's lovely, I think. Do you have the gold eyes? No, I think they're just brown. Let's do an eye check. Light brown. Light brown. Ooh, green eyes. Hello, green eyes. What are your eyes? Another green eyes. What are your eyes? You're a little short. Looks like your eyes are gray. I know I'm squinting. I'm trying to see. I'm sorry. They could be. They could be. Could be gray. They're not green. That's for sure. Wow, green. Vivid green. I love the new eye colors. Hello. I think that's the light brown. Definitely the green stands out. Hello. How are you? I'm pretty sure that's. <laughs> Would you stop like gray? Oh, I haven't touched you yet. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. 
Light chestnut roan with the badger face. Ooh, three advance. And a mare. So we've got the other one that is... Uh, where'd you go? This one. So we've got this one. That is three experts. So we're going to take Tall Cyclone home. And then we're going to go sell her. Coco, you look so tiny over here. Go to entrance. Coco's like, I worked up a sweat, man. Town horse statue. Okay. Oh my goodness. You're fine by yourself. Okay, so tall cyclone. There we go. 19,000 for the three expert stats. 19,000. And a gourmand and a harvester. Look at these. So the, the one stat that sucked was speed. 21k already? Oh my gosh. 21.6 for a wild horse. Yes, please. Thank you. That works for me. All right. Uh, ranch stable. Nope. We're gonna go this way. Put everybody back in the thing. Give you a brush up because you worked up a sweat today. You can just see her care bar moving up because she got dirty running around all those other horses. Yes, he did. Oh my goodness. Okay. So. Um, they're breeding. So we're going to sleep another day. See if we... If they get pregnant. If she gets pregnant, then we'll pull her out. And then we'll sleep again. And we'll just keep breeding. <laughs> I'll have so many horses I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Carpenter's in town, so now we're going to sleep again. <laughs> and she is pregnant, so we will pull her out. Pine forest. Yes, I'll look at the pine forest horses. Get up some yellow flowers. And again, the yellow flowers will only grow on our ranch. Nowhere else. So each, each zone has their own um, their own color like Crystal Lake is blue Pine Forest is black <clears throat> Rocky Mountain is red okay the baby's growing up how many days do you have left probably four five okay excuse me <laughs> she's glitching out and then we're going to breed Smokey after this to Antique Desert, who is looking fine. Smoky, yes. The boys are getting busy. Um, let's see, how many days do you have left? Probably three or four. Look how big you're getting. Two days, okay. You're getting big, baby. We're going to put a cell so that we don't have to do that when he becomes a yearling. Give you an apple. We have 258 apples. <laughs> That's a lot of apples. And we'll see how long this baby has before he matures. Three days. Spot keep. <laughs> I'll, I'll, take, I'll just leave his name like that, but again, any name suggestions put them in the in the comments below so he has the harvester the mentor and then the affectionate gains trust twice as fast his stats aren't bad i can oops didn't pick a brush can be um i should be training him he is a looker and then i can start breeding him 
And I don't know, so that would mean if I breed him, so he has black base and his pattern is Pentalusa. If I breed him, who's his mom? Smokey. Okay, so if I breed him to Beauty, who is a black, just a black dapple, maybe the baby would be, oh, I'm sorry. Maybe the baby would be a, um, like, dapple Pentalusa, which would be really cool to see. Okay, so actually let me take him. And actually, I have to cha I have to tame him, don't I? Cause you're, well, your tameness is forty seven percent, but um, so we're gonna do some training because I don't want to be wasting your energy while you're kicking out, acting the fool, like young horses sometimes do. Okay. Okay, so that's interesting. So my favorite is this view. So we've got we're at fifty one percent. So good job. We'll work on a little bit of flex and a little bit of jump in. And this part of the game, you can just set it on auto, put the four jumps in and then go away and get a snack, do your laundry, go to the grocery store, whatever you need to do, play with the kids, take the dogs for a walk and come back and it'll still be going. <laughs> it's kind of like auto training. So that is a lovely thing. Or you can be immersive and just work with it. That was a little too. And then you can keep this up and see your progress. Like we're at 62%. The more that we do this, the, the faster the tameness comes up. And then the trust will go up a little bit as well. The more races we win and the more soft brushes and the more treats we give. Those are all things that are increased trust. And I have something under my nail. Excuse me. There's a foreign object under my nail. I apologize. And I just hurt myself. Ow. We're going to shorten that lead, work on the flex. And you can see right here, it tells you what they're working on. So speed, flexibility. Well, it's supposed to be flexibility. There we go. And then jump when they jump. And you can intermittently change this camera all during, oh, we okay. have horse view <laughs> if you really want the horse view which technically I think the horse view should go up with the horse and not just have the saddle hit you in the face but um, and then you have the overview with the person you know crossing their crossing over their feet top down which is interesting I've never watched this part of it before but okay so we'll try this <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Not my favorite of this. And then this one, which isn't isn't bad. And then, of course, first person. I prefer the first person. That That's just me. You can do whatever you want. So we're trying to get his stats all up. We are at 81% tameness, so that's good. I'm going to have... Whoa, no, 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 no. Slow down. Slow down. I meant to hit slow down and hit speed up. Okay, good job. Okay, so now, even though he's not 100% tamed, I don't mind taking him to, like, let's see, what does he have? What's his lowest? 69 is probably... S so it's speed and flex that are his lowest. And... All right. So we will go to the speed arena and then the flex arena and try and get his stats up just a smidge. And then... Um, Speed arena is in the meadow. We're also going to go down here and get this because sometimes you can get statue points and potential, which he doesn't really need potential, I don't think, but it's fine. 
So when you unlock each zone and those those fairy rings or whatever you want to call them appear in the zone, it's not a bad idea to go around and find them all and go through them because you can get either money or you can get um, statue potential, which uh, Eloise did say she increased, um, as well as potential for your horse. So you can get that. So all your horses, like your starter horse or horses that have low potential because you've trained them up and you want to get them more potential to continue training them, then that is that would be how you would do it. So his speed is now 75, and you're at 70, 77 jump. So we're going to work on flex. I'm going to give him a watermelon. And then we're going to go to the flex arena. Um, mountain flexibility arena. I love how I cannot see. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's horses in pine forest. Don't let me forget horses in pine forest. And I play with mouse and keyboard, not controller, um, on this game. Uh, so 74 already. Dang. So now endurance is the lowest. Okay, well we have a little bit of, of stuff left. Let's go to the endurance ring and then we can look for wild horses while we're there. Maybe find another one. Another pretty to either sell or keep. And I am going to run through here now because we're not at 100% energy. And we got another thousand. Nice. Forest, Endurance. We go down to this one. And they're also in that guide where I told you that guide section of Steam. Statue Fame. Yep. Uh, there is a guide on all those circle spots and where every location is. I did see it the other day. If you can't find it on Steam, the Steam guide section, look on the Rancher River Shine Discord. And you can ask in chat, but there is a section, I believe, called Guides that should help you out. Okay, where are we at now? 75, 75, 77, 74. That's pretty darn good. Waste the last of his energy. Okay, so awesome. So now we just have to find where the wild horses are. So let's open our mop. And they are, so we're right here, and they are right here, and there's a wild horse pen right there. So usually they'll be in one of like four places, so they'll either be right here, which is right near, this is the entrance, this is the endurance ar arena. They'll either be right here, or they'll be right over in here somewhere, or they could be like right up in here. I think this is the right one. Or they could be way the heck over here. Oh, right over here. Somewhere around in here. I think it's this area right there. So, as it is, they are right in front of us. You can see them through the trees here. And this is the zone that has the creams, the palominos, the buckskins, the perlinos, the... Um, yeah, I can't remember the other one. We can see we've got a Tobiano over there, it looks like. We've got some black. We've got a black bay, it looks like, right there, or liver chestnut. Ooh, we've got a tall white one. Ooh, let's get the white one. What is this? You can get white horses in the wild. Uh, no, probably not white, probably Perlino. Oh, whoops, sneaky beat. <clears throat> Sorry. We're gonna go through here, push her back, push her back over a bit. Oh, there was. You can also get wood shavings. And I'm just gonna check because I don't think she's white. I think she's probably Perlino or no, no, that's not what I wanted. Dismount. Up, oh, she's a, she's like a golden Tobiano something or other. Cremello, that was the other one. Cremello Tobiano. With one X, two expert. Oops. 
16 two mares. So that's the tallest that we can get in the game. Unless you're using mods, and then if you're using mods, you can make it like an 18 hand horse. I don't necessarily recommend it. I don't know anything about mods personally. I am not that clever. <laughs> but there are mods you can get um, for Ranch of Rivershine. And again, go in the Discord, there is a mod section. They will tell you um, about all the mods that are available. There are coat patterns that you can add or change. There is a horse editor. Um, there's a bunch of different things that you can do with it, um, including the size. We had, um, I knew somebody that lowered their horse down to about miniature pony size. And it was absolutely a riot, but not something that you'd really want in your actual game. <laughs> I mean, maybe have ponies in the game and, and you know, breed ponies and then sell them, you know, be eight or 10 hands, that kind of thing. But then they also did really large horses, like 18, 19 hands. It's crazy. So there's a lot of things you can do. Like, like, like I said, I'm not against mods, but I don't know anything about them and I'm not clever enough to figure out how to install them, even with directions. So, <laughs> I managed to do it when I played The Sims 4 a couple of times, but then every time you get an update, you have to take them out and put them back in. And I was just like, yeah, no, I'm um, okay. Let's see. Oh, we might have two liver chestnuts. That could be a black bay in front of us. And then the other one's a liver chestnut. We're going to go around. Sorry, I know I keep doing this, sticking my head out. I have to see. I think my monitors might be a little too high. That could be it. But they're on a table that has a raised thing. So short of undoing the table, that might not be a thing. If I can undo the table and then put them down, that might be a thing. Then I might be looking down at them. Because <laughs> I've been getting a crick in my neck. Let's live for that. But it's fine. All right, we're going to take this badger face. Come on, pretty girl. Boy, girl, whatever. Okay, just the ambient sounds, the hoof, hoof pats going through the grass, the birds, the chirping. He's doing really good. Okay, so I think we still have two out here. There's one, maybe three. I'm going to look over here. You can look on your map and it will show you exactly where they are. There he is. He's hiding in the trees over here. <clears throat> I like to round them all up just because um, you don't know what stats you're going to get. You might have a plain looking horse like a liver chestnut or just a bay, but they might have all four expert stats. There's, so there's two more. Look at his high stockings. Go, oh, oh, okay. We, we stuck on the bunny. We got stuck on the little bunny there. My bad. That was interesting. Nope, nope. Gotta go into the, nope, nope. We're going into the pen. Oh, and now I'm stuck. Ha. Get in there, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. <laughs> so we do still have two out. We've got that, that looks like a Bay Tobiano and what might be a Black Bay or a Liver Chestnut. There's the, what I think is a Liver Chestnut. And then the Tobiano is right over there too. Okay, so we're gonna go pop around. I think this is a, I'm pretty sure it's a liver chestnut. I really like liver chestnuts. Oh, you are a sneaky one. Oh, now I'm stuck. Come on. <laughs> Just like, ha. No, you did not get rid of your pursuer. Um, can you move out a little bit? Yep. Yeah, let's go like that. Then we're just going to swing wide. There we go. Good job. Let's go get that Tobiano and see what we've got. Then we can look at all the stats. I see you in the trees over there. Let's hope we don't get stuck on another Benny because that was weird. Oh. <laughs> now we got stuck on the gate. Really? On the fence rather. Telling you those jumps are a menace. I like the aesthetic, but I don't need the aesthetic. 
Okay, you stay there, buddy. Let's go look at this cute little Tobiano. And I know there's been a lot of people asking if we could find like a random mare and foal or yearling. Dark buckskin Tobiano. Oh, nice. Sucky stats though. Why? Why, RNG? 14 one stallion with blue eyes. You have blue eyes, beautiful. You do. Oh my goodness. Nope. Well, that doesn't. That doesn't. We're eye to eye. My character has blue eyes too. You have blue eyes too. Just a straight black with a badger face. Two advanced, two intermediate. That's not terrible. Don't you pin yours at me. Pretty blue eyes. And I think this is a black bay. I want to say it's a black bay. Smoky black. Okay. Still black. Short. Two expert, two intermediate. 14 hands. That's the lowest you can go in the game. So 14 hands and 16 two. That's the size range. So that white mare in the background right there, or Cremello mare, she's the tallest and this is the shortest. And you can see... Looking over her back, I, my head can my character's head can look right over her back, whereas the other one, not happening. So if I go here, <laughs> the, just the top of my head is at the back. What are your eye color? Uh, I'm gonna say that's the gray, but I could be wrong. So what are you? Bright Cliff. Chocolate smoky black. Ooh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna back off so they can move around. One expert, one intermediate, and two beginner. Really? Oh my goodness. And what are you? Quick cyclone. A dark bay. Chocolate bay, smoky bay, dark bay. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, I'm stuck. I am stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. Somebody move? Can somebody move? Hello? There is not an unstick button in this game. Might have to end the end the video. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see here. Nope. There is like no getting out of this. What I might be able to do is go to the entrance and then come back because if you go to the entrance you're not leaving the zone so the horses will still be in there so i'm going to go to the entrance <laughs> it took my horse with me so if you get stuck that's the way to do it is port yourself to the entrance because there the horses won't move and uh, yeah all right stay there buddy let's <laughs> hope so we don't have to do that again all right did we finish with you so you've got the two experts. Nope, come back here. We haven't even talked to you. Pure thunder. Liver chestnut. I was right. Ooh, expert, expert, advanced, intermediate. That's pretty good. And what do your eyes look like? Yep, thunder. Come on. That might be the gold. That could be the gold. Possibly. Okay, so two expert and an advanced. One expert. Two expert. One advanced. Two expert, two advanced. I think this one is the winner. Two experts, two advanced. Oh, we didn't. It's a mare. <laughs> we didn't uncover that. She's a 15 3 mare. Um, and she's the dark base. So we are going to do this and then we're going to adopt her and then sell her. So quick cyclone. Everybody remember that? Quick cyclone. Let's see if we can break 900,000. Go to entrance. Oh, well, I need to go to here because I want to travel. See, the travel stones are great because then you don't have to ride all the way through your ranch when you're in Pine Forest, all the way through the town to get there, you just port right to the town. It's like, yes, please. A quick cyclone. Where's that dapple Tobiano again? 
Now I do want to add dapples to everything. Quick cyclone, $24,666 base price for a wild horse. I'm going to say it again, wild horses are good money if you're, you know, unless you fall in love. These are really good. Popular, sells for more in the auction house. That's why she has that trait. So 25, six, 26, six, 27, eight. Damn, that was almost $30,000 for that mare. Holy Christmas. We hit 918, so we definitely hit 900,000. That's impressive for me. That's the highest I've, I think I've ever been as far as money I have in the game. Okay, so ranch, stable. Good job, buddy. You did some training. You got some wild horses. We made some money. I could race him, but he's out of basically out of energy. So I'm going to give him a brusha. Give a treat. Oh, I already gave him a treat. That's right. You can only give one treat a day. All right, so we have a parrot in the breeding pasture. We got this carrot. I'm going to check my trees. See if I can collect my pears and my apples. We are only on summer five, so that's good. We got lots of time. Definitely get more apples than pears. <laughs> 32 apples compared to 12 pears. I think I need to put another pear tree down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, excuse me, stretch. Okay, so we will go to sleep. If Smokey is pregnant, we'll pull her out and then we'll do a little bit more of this and go back to sleep. Smokey's pregnant. Uh oh, another thing of pine forest. Are you kidding? We can get a lot of bang for our buck, man, if we keep selling horses like that. 20, 24, or that was 27,000, 16,000, 25,000. Yeah, those are all excellent prices. My pens are all fully upgraded. I don't think there's going to be anything, um, any additional levels introduced. There will be a quest line. I know a lot of people have seen the townsfolk talk about a mysterious horse that they keep seeing out of the corner of their eye. That is a quest that uh, Eloise is working on. We don't know what it's going to entail, really. Uh, let me see if I can breed somebody else. Can I breed somebody else? So a Dapple Perlino Tavero. And if I do hot chocolate, so because she has the dapple, that's why I'm trying to get her. So she is a bay cream, so bay color, base color, cream modifier. And then she has maximum dapples and he is a chestnut base color, cream modifier, Tobiano. I'm gonna do that. We just need all the babies. So we've got this girl's pregnant and she has probably it is six days because she just got pregnant yesterday, I think. No, she's not pregnant. She's pregnant. Yeah, that's sweet. Seven days. She just got pregnant. Uh, we need to brush you. You're having a problem. Usually in easy hot chocolate. Horses in the pasture don't need to be brushed every day, but at least once every three or four days. Um, otherwise, then their health will start to go down. Plus their care will start to go, start to go down. Give you a treat. Yeah. Um, he is almost out of potential. Who is a mare that I want? I think you are my 100%. Yes, you're my 100%. Give you a brush of. So pretty with these blue eyes. Dapple, Golden, Perlino, Avero. I might, I might breed her to hot chocolate again and see what we get. Just because of that 100% stat. Uh, he's good. I knew, sweetie. Got everybody hanging out over here. So I think tomorrow, Beauty's full. This little Pintalusica. Really, guys? She just walked right through her full. 
this little guy is become going to become a adult I like his markings I really do I like this neck thing right here so young adult tomorrow so we'll, we'll sell him tomorrow and you're elegant whoa We'll give you a brusha, and then we'll probably breed her tomorrow um, to Antique Desert again and see what she gets. She might get a dapple something. You gone, baby? Where you gone, Dove? Maurice? Yeah. Okay. I love you. I will edit it out. I will I will cut it out so you don't have to hear. Not that you ever watch my videos with your voice. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I think everybody is good. All right, so we're gonna sleep. Excuse me, really? You wanted pets? Yeah, I know. Take this straw out. So we're just breeding, 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 breeding. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna have enough stalls for all these babies. So. <laughs> Definitely not going to have enough stalls for all these babies. Alright, let's get some forageables because they're starting to, starting to get a lot here. And they're all over the place. Any antics, any hijinks going on? Let me see. I think we can still put quite a few forces in here. So we have 11 horses out of 16 in here. So foals, pregnant or nursing mares can't be retired. Sick horses need to be cared for. And they lose all their potential, but they can be taken out at any time. So like I could put Coco in there. Actually, I think I am going to put Coco in there. Um, Golden Star. I think I want to breed her one more time. Beauty, I can definitely give the, um, 
There's Floby, Magnolia, all my little babies. So many horses. Okay, so we, we, we have one more stall freed up, but I am going to try and breed both Beauty and uh, Golden. So, let's see. Rushing Pearl is pregnant and Cell grew to be a young adult. And notice I did not go to the Pine Forest yesterday. I totally forgot. I was so busy. Let me go get my, my pears and apples. Totally forgot. It's right out of my head. Okay, so we're going to put her out and then we're going to breed one more and then we're going to sleep for a number of days because I am just trying to breed up a storm here. She is pregnant, I think. Yeah, it did say she was pregnant, but I just thought that was a cute pose. Oh, yeah, I wanted to breed um, golden. Yep. So if she is a bay cream and I do a black and the other one is chestnut, I guess it doesn't matter. So it's not going to be a Pendaloosa, but it, it could be a Tovero and it could be a dappled Tovero. So we're going to do that. <laughs> yes, I see you. You become an adult tomorrow. Yay, good boy. Have a care. <laughs> All right, so we are going to sleep. I know some of them are probably close to falling, but we're going to sleep probably about five, maybe six days just to try and get everybody pregnant um, or try to get everybody delivered, not pregnant. Wait, at least everybody but um, Star, the one I just put in there. And then we will see what we have. So here we go. Cool. Of course she's pregnant. Cell and spot. Three to an adult. So that's one, two. Three. Night sky had a full. That's four. So that's five. Sweet Sprout had a full. Smoky had a full. Okay, so let's leave it there. Uh-oh. Leave my meadow horses. I think that's the majority of our kids. Not all of them. Of course, because I've still got one in the fertility pasture that I didn't pull out. But we will see what babies we have. So this is our gorgeous new stallion. He's grown to an adult. Hello, Spot Keep. Give you a bit of a brusha. Get that care up. So he is breedable now. So I can breed him with beauty and see what we get. Maybe a dappled Pentalusa. She is still, I think she has tomorrow. Okay. So blushing pearl. Get that care up, almost complete. So, oh, let's see what nice guy had. An onyx black Pentaloosa? Yes! Oh my god, look at the cuteness! Look at the cute pattern! And I think he has, I think she has the gold eyes. Oh my god, she's so cute! 
Oh, we did it. We got a an onyx black pentalusa. That is so awesome. Look at the little pink nose. Um, okay. So that's one. Ah, up oh, here's this one looks like another pentalusa. Flax and light, just like Mama. Like carbon copy of Mama, but I'm not upset. She's adorable. And who did I breed her to? Hot chocolate. Okay, so basically you have a chance of 50-50 chance of getting um, like a carbon copy of mom or dad. But also in that chance is if you're a to Toby, like the dad is a Tobiano, you could get any of the Tobiano patterns. If they're a cream based, it could be any of the cream. It doesn't necessarily have to be like the 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 chocolate palomino, it could be a buckskin, it could be a cremello, it could be a, t you know, that kind of thing. Um, so that is where th the genetics are not like real genetics, like real horse genetics, but they are, I, let me pull these out, pull these guys out. Remove horses. So I think this is one of our babies. This is Cell. So this is our silver dapple pearl black Tobiano, the little baby that when I first started the, the uh, video. So he's ready to be sold. He looks adorable. So let's see what we got over here with Smokey. Ooh, this looks like another black Ventilusa. Oh my goodness. <gasps> now that is the gold eyes. That is definitely the gold eyes. Watch me be wrong. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. What a cutie. Nice stats. And a colt no less. Okay. So let's let's brush mom because she's kind of dirty. Good job, Smokey. Good job, honey. Give you apple. Yeah. So then I'm going to try and focus in and see if his, oh, I really like his pattern. It's, his eyes are probably brown. He's too short. I can't see. I can't bend over. They might be gold, but they're probably brown. Oh, okay, so we've got those three. Let me give Mama a brush. She could use a brush. <laughs> Jealous, Smokey. Oh, oh my gosh. The cuteness factor, two Pintalusas. Oh, Smokey, you had to ruin it. Darn it. I took too long, that's what it was. Hey, hot chocolate. Okay, so we only have two more pregnant horses, I think. Wait, did I see this one? I did see this one, didn't I? What I'm gonna do Everybody hopefully should come running. Oh my god, I'm going to get run over. Come on, come on guys. Everybody, up to, up to, up to, up to. Oh my god. Looked like he was standing on his mom's back. Come on. Look at you two. What is going on there? Come on, beauty. Form a circle, everybody form a ring, form a herd ring. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do either. Hang on. No, that's not working. Okay, well, <laughs> sorry. So these are all the beauties. Look at these girls. This one, I'm really super happy about this guy. Onyx Black Pintalusa. Super, super stinking cute. Okay, so we're going to sleep so that we can see the next one's pregnant. And then we'll leave uh, Golden for the next time. So that was just like three babies. Now we're going to have four babies. Not enough stalls, of course. But... Definitely fun, and I got 
three more Pentaleuses. Oh my goodness. Now we're not keeping all of them and I'm not rooting specifically for Pentaleuses, but as they're the new coat, I am kind of excited about them and I want more variations. I was hoping to get Dapples mixed in. Blushing Pearl had her full. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, I don't want to sleep right now. And I, yeah, I, know I didn't do the, didn't do any wild horses because I just got focused on, on this. So I want to see what her baby is because I am going to be trying, the next thing to be trying to do is add dapples onto the Pintaloosa coat pattern and see what we get because I would really like to see that. So what are you? Are you another? Oh, that's your, your fluffy leaf. Okay. So where is, oh, it looks like she got a bug skin. All right. Yeah, kids. Okay, it looks like it's a buckskin. Dapple buckskin Tovero with the blue eyes. Oh my god. That's lovely and it's a little filly. Yeah, I want my brush. What? Why can't I brush? That's sweet. Can I give a treat? Yes, I can give a treat. But I can't brush because the post is in the way. So we got another Tovero. Here, I can do this. Come here. There we go. So that is super sweet. So now I wonder if I bred, hmm, I'm thinking hard here because I don't know that Tavero's Penelousa's. Good job, mama. Good job. Yeah, you did a good job. She's not a Perlino, but she's a buckskin. Good job. Good job. Hey, buddy. How you doing? There are some nice babies, bud. Okay, so let uh, I'm going to take hot chocolate and then I'm going to the ones that are we're not keeping. I'm going to sell them. All right, so, so we're gonna sell Sal. <laughs> Such a pretty boy. Nineteen. Okay, nineteen seven. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so wait. Oh, I can't sell any of the babies yet because that was just it. So Antique Desert. Okay. We're good. I thought there was more horses to sell, but apparently it was just him. And we'll put everybody back in the pasture. Good job. All right, so that is where we're going to end it. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, watch my other videos if you like this one. And uh, thank you very, very much for your uh, continued follow and support. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye now.